Welcome to Altium Designer 17's Advanced PCB course. This module will cover adding design views to the PCB. Design views provide insight for the PCB by adding views, often magnified, to show details for assembly. To enable the visibility, check to ensure that they are enabled in the View Configuration window by looking at the Show Hide tab for the Show Design Views, ensuring that it is checked. To add a design view, simply click on the Place pull-down menu and select Design View. This opens up the Design View window where we can select a section of the PCB for view by clicking on the Define Area button and using the mouse, left-click and drag over the desired area. Now that we've selected a PCB section, we should look at the remaining configuration options in the Design View window, starting with Scale. We can scale up or down the view to make it easier to see when the PCB is printed. We can add a title to the Design View, describing what the view is detailing. We can change the title's font, as well as the color by clicking on the color block to change it. The text height can also be customized for each design view by clicking on the field and changing it to a new value. We can see the design view. Once placed, the design view can be edited by double-clicking on the view. We can lock or mirror the view if we are looking at a detail, say, on the bottom side of the PCB. We can also set the location for the design view to be placed, if needed, using the X and Y location fields. Click OK to place the updated view. Let's add another view of the bottom. We will copy the design view and paste it right next to the existing one. Double-clicking on the copy's properties so we can edit the visible layers, we would do so by clicking on the Layers tab. Here we see all the layers that were part of the design view when captured. We could check or uncheck the various layers to bring out the details for this new view more fully, without any non-important layers obscuring the view. We would want to see the bottom side of the board, so we will uncheck all of the top side related layers. Switching back to the Definition tab, we should mirror this view as it would appear when looking at the board from the bottom side. Simply clicking on the design view to select it allows us to move it and by picking on a corner, resize it. Design views can be included or excluded when printing the PCB from an out job. Opening up the out job, it's important to note that there is an option to not print the design view. This allows for the view to be selectively included on the relevant prints. Opening up the out job and adding the PCB print to the documentation outputs, we should double click on the entry to open up its properties. On the far right, you will see the Design Views checkbox. If that is unchecked, then the Design View will not be printed when the PDF is generated. One additional feature that Design Views support is the inclusion of another PCB's view. Opening up the Connected Cube PCB as a reference, let's assume we want to add a view of this PCB to our current PC board. One thing to note that this requires both the current PCB and any of the externally referenced PCB files be accessible by Altium. I have seen issues with customer support cases involving the use of an external PCB reference design view when the external file was no longer present. Keep in mind this constraint when considering having an externally referenced PCB design view. To add an external PCB design view, use the Place Design View and click on the Specify Document option. Then navigate to the file. One thing that is helpful is knowing the coordinates of the section for viewing of the external file as in this mode, the option to specify with using a defined area is not available. Note it's also possible to tune the view using the Device View Window Editing Area to be copied section. This completes the instruction on adding design views to the PCB. Please do the design view exercise.